it's so important to, to teach our children and grandchildren, amen, the Word of God. And I thought, Sarah is such a good mom, does such a good job. No one's perfect, but I think she does an excellent job teaching um, her son, my grandson, Isaiah. And I thought, you know, there are parents out there who, like, struggle. How do I teach my children? So tell us what you're doing, Sarah. Uh, I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> I was eating a banana down the back, so bear with me. Um, I only have one child, and I've only been a parent for five years. So I am really at the beginning of my journey of learning um, how to parent um, in a godly way. And it's been a really rough journey, <laughs> as any parent uh, will say. It's, it's tough learning how to be a good parent. Um, it's really tough because it's one of the biggest jobs you could ever do. Um, but I would say uh, the best thing has been uh, allowing the Holy Spirit to be my teacher and my helper. This is the best resource that you have available to you, the Word of God and the Holy Spirit. Um, because there's so many situations where we're like, I do not know what to do. <laughs> um, and just simply asking the Holy Spirit, what do I do? Show me in your Word. What do I do, Lord? And bringing everything to the Lord in prayer. Um, so the Lord's taught me simple things over time. He's taught me um, the fruit of the Spirit. <laughs> be gentle, be kind, be patient, um, you know, be persevering and long-suffering, um, things like that. And just to meditate on those things and apply all of that to my parenting. Um, and simple things, how to... Be a good example to my child. Um, Stephanie Gretzinger, I heard her say the other day that your children should witness you regularly buying oil. You know, the, the parable of the ten virgins and how they bought their oil. Your children should be able to watch you coming to the feet of Jesus and worshipping um, pouring yourself out before him. They should, they should see that from time to time because you can't buy their oil, true? You can teach them and admonish them and raise them in the ways of the Lord. You can instruct them. Um, you can discipline them. But you can't buy their oil. You, can't, you can lead a horse, but you can't you know, make the horse drink. So... It's so important for them to simply watch you do life with the Lord. And so that includes letting him see when I need to repent. Letting him see that humility and say, yeah, I messed up. And this is how we turn back to God. This is how we repent. Letting him see when I'm vulnerable, when I'm weak. And I say, yeah, I am weak. And we're all weak. That's why we need Jesus letting him see me rely on the Lord. Um, the other thing is just simply reading the scripture. Reading, We underestimate how little children, how much they absorb. And we, if we read the word of God over them each day, even if it's five minutes, it's, it's enough. It's enough. And pray over them and pray with them. So we do that every day. We read the word together. We, um, we learn a hymn. We learn a memory verse. And, and we pray together. And I ask him, what do you want to pray about? And we, we pray together. And that's all I do. <laughs> Lord, I